So there's this seventh grade boy who is following my daughter around everywhere, calling her constantly. I asked her about him and she says, mom, I like him. I don't like like him. Hey, I'm Melanie McKay. I'm the director of operations, morning show host at KJNW Life 88.5 in Kansas City. And I'm here for the CMB Peer to Peer. We all know whether we're in middle school or not, there's a big difference between like and like like and recently at the CMB summit in Nashville uh, John Frost kind of challenged us to move people from just liking our radio station to like liking them as in loving them having a passion for our radio station and so I really wanted to dig a little deeper into that when I got back to Kansas City and so I started to kind of look into the difference between like and love and it all comes down to emotion it all comes down to passion. It all comes down to feelings. And are we reaching that depth with our listeners? And in researching the difference between like and love, I found there's actually a tool for that. It's not an app, it's a tool, but it's Ruben's like and loving scales. And so I kind of rewrote the questions that you might ask yourself about someone to determine if you like or love them to see how they apply to our radio station. So yeah, I have my notes. And these are the questions that I came up with. On the liking scale, do your listeners say, I have a confidence in the station's message? Do they say, that station is one of the most pleasing I know? Or maybe they might say, I like that the station has quite a lot in similarity with me. Or I like that the station is usually pretty solid. So you got solid, you got pleasing, you got similar beliefs, not a lot of passion. But then you move to the loving scale and you might find somebody saying this about your radio station. I would do almost anything to be able to listen, maybe download an app even. Um, if I could never hear the station again, I would feel miserable. My life would be lacking something. If you're a not-for-profit, you'd like this one. I feel a responsibility for the station's well-being. On the love scale, your listener may say, when I listen, I find myself leaning in to hear more, to catch more. So today, maybe that's the question for us. How can we move our listeners from just liking us to like liking us, to even loving us? As John Frost said, it doesn't matter what you do if what you do doesn't matter. Let's matter to her today.